This program is brought to you by Hometown Veterinary Partners. Learn how you can get on the pathway to partnership at hometownvetpartners.com forward slash vet candy. Hi, it's Dr. Deja with Hometown Veterinary Partners. We're so happy to partner with Vet Candy on this project. Want to know how you can get on the path to partnership with Hometown Veterinary Partners? Head to hometownvetpartners.com forward slash vet candy. Ready to get started? Here's Dr. Shannon Gregoire for tonight's quiz night. Hey there, I'm Dr. Shannon Gregoire and this is Quiz Time with Vet Candy. Let's get started. Question one. A three-year-old dairy cow presents with sudden onset of dyspnea, frothing at the mouth, and severe respiratory distress. The herd was recently moved to a new pasture with lush green grass. What is the most likely diagnosis? Is it A, grass tetany, B, acute bovine pulmonary edema and emphysema, or fog fever, C, perilla mint toxicity, D, anthrax, E, lead poisoning. Take a moment and think about what answer you'd like to choose and drop it in the comments below. The correct answer is B, acute bovine pulmonary edema and emphysema or fog fever. Answer B is correct, acute bovine pulmonary edema and emphysema. This condition, also known as fog fever, occurs when cattle graze on lush pastures rich in tryptophan, which is converted to 3-methylindole in the rumen, leading to pulmonary edema and emphysema. A Grass tetany is incorrect. Grass tetany is caused by hypomagnesemia and presents with muscle tremors, convulsions, and sudden death, not primarily respiratory distress. C, perilla mint toxicity is also incorrect. While perilla mint toxicity can cause respiratory distress, it is not related to grazing on lush green grass and is less common. Answer D, anthrax was also incorrect. Anthrax causes sudden death, fever, and hemorrhagic signs, not primarily respiratory distress while frothing. Choice E, or lead poisoning, is also incorrect. Lead poisoning causes neurological signs, including blindness, head pressing, and convulsions, not primarily respiratory distress. Now it's time for question number two. A four-year-old horse presents with severe colic elevated heart rate and sweating. The owner reports the horse was exposed to a large number of blister beetles in the hay. What is the most likely toxicant responsible for these clinical signs? Is it A, nitrate poisoning, B, fescue toxicosis, C, cantharidin toxicity, D, aflatoxin poisoning, E, copper poisoning. Now take a moment to think about what answer you'd like to choose and drop it in the comments below. The correct answer is C, blister beetle or cantharidin toxicity. Cantharidin found in blister beetles causes severe gastrointestinal irritation, colic, elevated heart rate and sweating in horses. Choice A was nitrate poisoning, which is incorrect. Nitrate poisoning leads to methemoglobinemia, causing chocolate-colored blood and dyspnea, not severe colic. Choice B, fescue toxicosis, was also incorrect. Fescue toxicosis causes reproductive issues and lameness due to vasoconstriction, not colic. Choice D, Aflatoxin poisoning was also incorrect. Aflatoxins primarily cause hepatic damage and are less likely to cause acute colic signs. Choice E, copper poisoning was also incorrect. Copper poisoning in horses is rare and would typically present with signs of hemolytic crisis, not severe colic. Now it's time for question number three. A herd of cattle presents with signs of icterus hemoglobinuria, and anemia. The pasture contains oak trees. 
and the cattle have been seen eating the fallen acorns. What is the most likely cause of these clinical signs? Is it A, cyanide poisoning, B, tannins toxicity, C, lead poisoning, D, brackenfern poisoning, or E, fescue toxicosis? Take a moment and think about what answer you'd like to choose and drop it in the chat box below. The correct answer is B, oak or tannins toxicity. Tannins in acorns cause renal damage, leading to icterus, hemoglobinuria, and anemia in cattle. Choice A was cyanide poisoning, which is incorrect. Cyanide causes bright red blood due to inability of hemoglobin to release oxygen, not icterus and hemoglobinuria. Choice C, which was lead poisoning, is also incorrect. Lead poisoning causes neurological signs, including blindness and head pressing, not primarily icterus and hemoglobinuria. Choice D was brackenfern poisoning, which was also incorrect. Brackenfern causes bone marrow suppression and hemorrhagic cystitis, not icterus and hemoglobinuria. Lastly, choice E was fescue toxicosis, which was also incorrect. Fescue toxicosis affects reproduction and causes lameness, not icterus and hemoglobinuria. Now it's time for question number four. A five-year-old sheep presents with icterus, hemoglobinuria, and sudden death after being fed a new batch of hay. Laboratory results show severe hemolytic anemia. What is the most likely cause of these clinical signs? Is it A, copper toxicity, B, nitrate poisoning, C, cyanide poisoning, D, anthrax, or E, strychnine poisoning? Take a moment now to think about what answer you'd like to choose and drop it in the chat box below. The correct answer was A, copper toxicity. Sheep are particularly susceptible to copper toxicity, which causes hemolytic anemia, icterus, hemoglobinuria, and sudden death. B, nitrate poisoning was incorrect. Nitrate poisoning causes methemoglobinemia, leading to chocolate-colored blood and dyspnea, not hemolytic anemia. C, cyanide poisoning was also incorrect. Cyanide poisoning causes bright red blood and sudden death, but not hemolytic anemia. D was anthrax and also incorrect. Anthrax causes sudden death with signs of septicemia, but not hemolytic anemia. And lastly, choice E was strychnine poisoning, which was incorrect. Strychnine causes severe muscle spasms and convulsions, but not hemolytic anemia. Great, let's move to question number five. A six-year-old goat presents with severe abdominal pain, tenesmus, and hemorrhagic diarrhea. The owner reports that the goat has been grazing on moldy sweet clover. What is the most likely toxicant responsible for these clinical signs? Is it A, cyanide, B, decumerol, C, nitrate, D, strychnine, or E, lead? Take a moment now to think about what answer you'd like to choose and drop it in the chat box below. The correct answer is B, decumerol. Decumerol, found in moldy sweet clover, acts as a vitamin K antagonist, leading to coagulopathies and hemorrhagic diarrhea. A, which was cyanide, was incorrect. Cyanide poisoning causes bright red blood and respiratory distress, 
not hemorrhagic diarrhea. Choice C, or nitrates, was incorrect. Nitrate poisoning causes methemoglobinemia, leading to chocolate-covered blood and dyspnea, but not hemorrhagic diarrhea. Choice D was strychnine, which is incorrect. Strychnine causes severe muscle spasms and convulsions, not hemorrhagic diarrhea. And lastly, lead was E, which is incorrect. Lead poisoning causes neurological signs, including blindness and head pressing, but not hemorrhagic diarrhea. Well, that's a wrap for tonight's quiz time. You guys did great. Thank you so much for joining us, and we'll catch you next week. Keep studying hard.